And welcome back. Eight Republican presidential candidates faced off in their first debate tonight in Milwaukee ahead of the 2024 election. But one candidate, the GOP frontrunner, was noticeably absent. Skylar Henry has more from the White House. Eight Republican candidates aiming to replace President Joe Biden took the debate stage in Milwaukee Wednesday evening. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is number two in the polls and widely seen as former President done. Donald Trump's main GOP rival. He focused on his own message. Our country is in decline. This decline is not inevitable. It's a choice. We need to send Joe Biden back to his basement and reverse American decline. But former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley pulled no punches when it comes to federal spending and the country's deficit. The truth is that Biden didn't do this to us. Our Republicans did this to us, too. When they passed that $2.2 trillion COVID stimulus bill. Former Vice President Mike Pence is seeking to differentiate himself from his former boss. I think unquestionably I am the best prepared the most tested, the most qualified and proven conservative in this race. Some of the candidates are largely unknown to the voters outside of their states, like North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum and businessman Vivek Ramaswamy. I'm the only person on the stage who isn't bought and paid for, so I can say this. The climate change oh, whoa, 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 whoa. is a hoax. Oh, the last person in one of these debates, Brett, who stood in the middle of the stage and said, What's a skinny guy with an odd last name doing up here was Barack Obama, and I'm afraid we're dealing with the same type of amateur. Burgum said abortion legislation should not be decided in Washington. We should not have a federal abortion ban. Uh, we should not, and the reason why we shouldn't is very simple. It's the 10th Amendment. We can't leave it to Illinois. We can't leave it to Minnesota. We must solve that issue with a 15-week limit at a minimum. Former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson made a promise. I've pledged to reduce by 10 percent our federal non-defense workforce. Noticeably absent from this debate was the GOP frontrunner, former President Donald Trump, who said he skipped the debate because the public already knows who he is and because of his double-digit lead in the polls. But the former president held his own audience during a primetime interview with former Fox News personality Tucker Carlson. I just felt it would be uh, more appropriate not to do the debate. I don't think it's uh, right to do it. Uh, if you're leading by 50, 60, I have one problem leading by 70 points, and I'm saying, why am I doing it? And I'm going to have eight people, 10 people, whoever made the debate. I don't know how many it is, but I'm going to have all these people screaming at me, shouting questions at me all of which I love answering, I love doing, but it doesn't make sense. The first debate introduced the GOP field to voters. Now it's up to the candidates to win them over, ahead of Iowa's GOP caucus in January 2024. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.